Boy, oh boy, oh boy, have I got something different for you today. It's something a little different to what we normally do. So it's a breakdown of a recent game I had with Piranha. I've put a link to his Twitch in the description. This raid picks up in customs. Having spawned at silos, we make our way through the repair shop towards the shipping yard. At which point we pick up the tale of an engagement. By the time we catch up and figure out where the winners are, they're getting ready to move off. We exchange some shots and they withdraw from the fight via all gas. Not wanting to follow them into a potential kill zone, we pull cautiously through shortcut and into new construction. At which point we hear them engaging at Stronghold. I'll let the footage play from here and we'll pick back up after. You're gonna go up the I'm outside. I'm really sure that they're gonna go push to uh, ZB. We can always cut off ZB actually and sit down there and wait for them. Oh, it's filthy, I love it. Oh. Are those shots they're on you? They're shooting through. No, but they're shooting through. I don't know where you went, how far around you went. Okay, I'm about to enter um, skeleton or whatever the fuck people call it. Yeah, boss. I've lost my head. Okay. You've lost your head? I see on the corner. Oh. I've got. Oh fuck! Shots on me. Shots yeah, no, shots? that's. I can't tell, but it landed in front of me. I had one land in front of me too. I'm gonna yeah, move I'm up gonna, and I'm, swap I'm out with you. Right side. I'm right, right Have you right actually side. full lost your head? No, nah, it's fine. <laughs> it was pretty red though. I'm inside the building. Okay, I'm well, I'm having issues. I'm the suppress shots behind me. You're not in the... I'm now underground opposite ZB. Oh, in that case, I've got a friend here. You need help, please. He's down. He's down. There's another one there. Gotta hold this corner, otherwise I'm gonna get fucked. Okay, if it's you a bodyguard, it is. No, someone else is engaging the bodyguards on the inside. Okay, cool. That was the M1A, by the way. Yeah. Wait, he's inside. Inside this building with me right now. Yes. Judging by the... Ah, oh, fuck, he's nading me. I killed one. Definitely wasn't a guard. Those nades are on me. I got running. It's not me. He's fucked me up. Is he? Where are you? Where are you? Come again. I killed him. I killed both. I killed both. Sorry. It's alright. Uh, I just can't I'm push through because there's. Okay, I'm gonna come around the outside. Okay, I'm oh, there's pretty two sure dead. These are the two guys. Okay, there's two dead AI in there. But yeah, I don't want to... Yeah, I'm coming okay, up to you. you now? Yeah, while well, I'm running. I've stopped and I'm uh, starting. Is that your model? Yeah, it's me. I should be approaching you, I think. Is that you there? Yeah, I freaking hope that's you. Otherwise, I'm dead as shit. There's one behind me right now on bushes outside. Watch that stair. It might be with Shiloh boy, but... There's two dead bodyguards. Oh, grenade no, watch out. I'm going upstairs. Change up my mic. Roger. So he's outside the wall with the you're on, if you get me. Yeah, so he's towards meth lab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You up? Scab's dead. Okay. Um, that wasn't me. Killed another one. Roger. Another one. There's another guy. Do you need me to pull up? I'm dead. He's upstairs. Oh, fuck. I wasn't ready for him. Where There's was one he? one more. Upstairs. Where? Time. Uh, he got upstairs, looked left. He's by the other stairs because he came up. I'm not even sure this one, I think. Tried to walk up behind me. Did you get him? Yeah, he's dead. Vector. Okay. It looks like maybe. Oh, shit. I can't tell. No. I got... No, it's an AK. There should be one more then. If it was... If it was loud, then there's one more. I put him down before I realised. AVS. I got no idea. All I saw was a. Um, oh, it's an ash. No, this is a fucking ash. Okay. Let me see what I died by. I, I died by BT. So, no, there's a. Uh, there's an AK guy somewhere. Okay. Mate, it's clusterfuck, isn't it? Yeah, I wasn't expecting that many people. That's five people then. Do 
pretty well handled though. So lucky. Yeah. I think that scav ruined it for you. If you hadn't had to put that scav down, you wouldn't have given your uh, position away, you know what I mean? Yeah. I see the dude. I think. Take your time. Oh no, you kill someone afterwards, so he knows you're there. Tried to move to get a line of sight, but I lost it. Just let him come to you at this point. Nah, mate. I want to keep you waiting for 20 minutes while I wait for some dude to amble up to me. Mate, do you know how much to lose there? Pretty yeah, shit. Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to get all of it. I hear him. Don't let my death be in vain, boy. Dead. Yeah, I lit him up, but he got uh, he reloaded quicker than me. Oh, dude, so many rounds on him. So many. Okay, so that was a pretty intense few minutes of engagements. And although we both died, there's a lot we can take away and learn from the series of fights. First things first, communication is key to winning. But the key to communication is being clear and concise, conveying the most information you can in the least amount of words. Through most of this engagement, the communication was on point, giving direct information based on common landmarks. The only time communication suffered was when one of us was under fire, as it's quite difficult to react to gunfire and communicate coherently. With that out of the way, I want to go through this footage and highlight some interesting techniques and plays. A common set of questions when adrenaline is high. Is that you on X? Is that you running up? Over my time in games like Tarkov, I've come to realise going from moving to stationary and saying, that was me, I stopped, isn't always the best way to let your teammate know where you are. Stutter stepping or changing movement speed is far more effective. Why? Going from running to stationary and vice versa is relatively common when someone is trying to push a corner or peek someone or just general scav movements. Whereas stutter stepping is very unique and it also provides a sound for your teammate to lock onto and draw a mental image of where you are, after making it easier than trying to explain. Now you may be wondering why I chose to hold at this corner and wait for the peak, rather than at the top of the stairs where I could cover a larger area. Audio in Tarkov, as I'm sure you know, is funny, and movement in front of you can sound like it's coming from behind if you're looking directly at it. Sometimes audio on stairs just flat doesn't play. A position like this also gives me less angles I need to be concerned over taking fire from, as well as affording me reaction time as it's poorly lit. In this case, I stared at the corner so I would be clearly able to hear if the contact moved outside or inside. I was pretty sure he wouldn't come through the door the other side of the wall behind me, because it was too open. The idea was to catch him with an aggressive push as he closed up to the corner. In hindsight, it probably wasn't the best play. It would probably have been smarter to rotate to the top of the stairs and hold them from a different angle somewhere between both sets of stairs, but in cover as I would have been able to respond quicker to Piranha's engagements. We needed to establish as quick as possible if this was the player who downed Piranha. It was a pretty quick rotate if it was. Which is why in spite of my initial reaction, I was starting to doubt that it was our guy. Listening off the equipment the player was using is the best way to do this. Normally starting with a gun because if your partner is dead, it's the easiest item they can identify, using the death screen. I was too quick to assume that I was right in calling the vector. This cost me valuable time. I should have confirmed the weapon first. Sometimes you don't get the positioning you want in Tarkov, and that's usually something I'm very aware of as a solo player, as it's the difference between winning and losing. Standing in broad daylight like a beacon of hope for anyone wanting to land a kill shot is not what I'd call a good play, but I needed to get the angle to check downstairs. As a side note, holding corners that are bathed in light, allowing you to see someone's shadow as they push you, is a real solid play. Piranha is totally right, and if it wasn't for the fact that he was streaming and I didn't want to hold him up, I probably would have played this fight much slower. It would have been the far wiser thing to do. This was something I was aware of at the time. All of my mistakes up until now have been minor in comparison to my major mistake. I see it often with friends, as well as myself. 
This here is the deal breaker and what cost me the fight. Having found the other player and feeling like I had them on the back foot, I went for my normal aggressive push. The problem being, I didn't have the angle on the doorway, leading me to push further and further out into the open, ultimately compromising my position and overextending out of cover. When the fight turned south, I switched it up and tried to dash for cover that wasn't there, leaving me with no choice but to return to shooting. This hesitation combined with the lack of cover is what cost me the fight. The dive being the last ditch attempt to stall long enough for a reload, which works more often than you might think. I underanticipated how heavily armoured the other guy was due to the overconfidence established from the fight so far, and I was subsequently greeted with a Tarkov reality check. What I should have done was ridden down the length of the wall, watching the door frame and listening for the rotate. I'd already cleared the space to my left, and so the only position I needed to be concerned about was head height in the doorway. If I'd kept myself snug to the wall, the angle of engagement would have been far smaller than it was standing so far out in the open. Now, I hope this helped you learn something. Losses are far better teachers than wins. And I'll catch you in the next one.